when we talk about the accounts table, uh, I'm going to focus uh, totally on the software for you guys, all right? So what are the basic concepts of purchase? Uh, what kind of purchases are there uh, when you do? Uh, Obviously, if you have to make a sale, either you're going to procure your product or you manufacture it. So we'll see what are purchases, the operating expenses, and cost of goods sold. And when we talk about zero, how we deal with the various stages of the purchases, like creating a purchase order and uh, creating a bill from that purchase order. And uh, there can be scenarios where you need to return some purchases. So it's going to be the credit uh, notes which you need to issue for that purchase in the books. <clears throat> then we'll talk about further the bookkeeping expenses. Basically, uh, there's a part when we do the inventory and we manufacture things, we procure things, that is a part uh, where we talk about the various purchases stages. But to do the, that, uh, you know, manufacturing and uh, procurement, there are going to be multiple on top operating expenses. So how to enter those bills? And on top, uh, we have uh, the benefit of repeating bill templates in zero. So let's say we're going to start with first the basic concepts, just a bit of a theory that uh, I'm sure everyone understands that, you know, what exactly is a purchase. So when uh, goods, you know, when you buy uh, goods for a resale that is basically a purchase so as I said it can be a procurement you're procuring something and forwarding that you're making us a resale of that product or you are buying some raw material and uh, you're manufacturing those and creating a new item uh, and selling it like you are procuring multiple uh, items for a bicycle parts and then you're creating a manufacturing a bicycle and selling it so Purchasing something is goods bought for resale, okay, and uh, that can be in the form of raw material or the finished goods. And uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, if you are buying something like assets, machinery, or laptops, or anything which is going to <clears throat> be an asset that is not for resale. If I'm buying a laptop and I'm not selling laptops, so that is your asset and not a purchase for the sale. All right. Then, on top of that, we have operating expenses. That is something to, you know, run your business. If I'm manufacturing cycles, so obviously I need uh, employees, I need a factory, I need to pay rent for that, or either I need to buy that. I need to pay for the electricity, water. There can be any number of operating expenses. So, it is an expense incurred in carrying out an organization's day-to-day -day activities, but uh, not directly associated with the production, because the direct cost is the cost of goods sold. Others are your operating expenses. So it, it's going to be like your, it can be payroll, your sales commission, superannuation, um, which you pay on the salaries, transportation and travel, depreciation, rent. These are multiple examples of here. Yeah? Operating expense. So there are others too, but this is a part of it. So usually these are divided into your selling expense, administrative, and general expenses, and typically non-manufacturing expense, not the direct cost. It is all your indirect cost, right? Then um, we, if we talk about the cost of goods sold, that is uh, that refers to the direct cost of producing a good that's sold by the company. And the amount includes the cost of material and the labor directly used to create that good. Basically, the wages we, we talk about. So it excludes your indirect expenses, as I said, like the, the distributing and the sales force at the on top expenses. All right. So just a quick question here. All right, guys. So ABC Private Limited uh, paid wages to a casual employee. So when they pay these wages, so what what do you think? It's it's a kind of uh, direct cost or indirect cost? All right. Hey, Jess, can you hear me? Uh, yes, Nick. Okay, great. So seventeen people have voted. We are still uh, this is voting. 
That's a good question, actually, which you have prepared. It's uh, wages to his casual employees. What's the nature of the payment? Direct cost and indirect cost. So it's, it looks like we are split half and half. Half people are saying it's direct cost. Other half is saying indirect cost. Interesting. So five um, more people haven't replied yet. So please, uh, yes. So once they do, we'll uh, share the results and uh, you can share the answer after that. <clears throat> so guys, we are giving you a bit of a background, uh, like a theory uh, before we go dive into zero so that you understand uh, uh, what's the nature of purchases, what is considered direct cost, when do you actually book a purchase, what is expense, what is asset, that's what we're trying to uh, uh, give you a background on. So 22 people have answered, uh, we can end the poll and uh, we can show the results to everyone. All right guys, there's on the so screen, 41% are saying it's direct cost and 59% are saying it's indirect cost. Jazz, what do you think? Okay, so when I say wages, this is directly related to, uh, you know, the production, the manufacturing. So basically, wages are related to your direct cost. And when we talk about salaries, that is the operating cost of yours. So salaries goes to the indirect cost and wages are your direct cost, not the indirect one. Okay, great. Uh, thank you, Jess. 